It's a chapter 63, a little summary of chapter 63. <laughs> Amazing. It says like this. The rider is praying in this mizmor while he ran into the desert from his enemies and is in a place that there's no water there. But he's not worried right now that there's no water. No water, your life is in a risk, in the middle of nowhere. But what concerns him in his problems right now is that he's far away from Hashem. So he begins this mizmor with showing Hashem how much he misses him. How much he misses him. And the more he talks, the more he's missing Hashem. Much, much, much more than what he is anxious to get water. As he's speaking to Hashem, he has like a vision, like a, the spirit of Hashem is on him. And he feels great pleasure, like a person that has the best stuff on earth. And he compares his love to Hashem, like a love of a man to a woman. Do you know how many people are dead because of their love? They're willing to go to risk their life for someone that they were loving in the name of love. So how many men lost everything they have because they loved the woman and she wasn't so decent and she destroyed them? All kinds of stories like this. Sometimes the love ends beautifully. It lasts for a long time, and a lot of great things come out of it. And it's really, really one of the greatest things in life. Even though today, people are afraid to talk about it, because it's not so modest. But if you really see some of the greatest rabbis seven, eight hundred years ago, they used to, love, to write love stories, Abu Levi and others. Love stories of a man to a woman, man to his wife, man to his fiance that is about to marry her. Or, you know, things like this. It's not, it's not against the law. Today, because the world is so corrupted and so unclean, it's dangerous to write things like this in public. Because right away, all the losers take it and do bad use with that. But back in the days, the mind of the people were much cleaner than today, more pure. So if somebody wrote a love song to a woman, that was really from a pure soul, from a pure heart. Not chas v'shalom, to use her or to make sins with her. That wasn't the intention ever. So he's comparing the love, like Rambam, by the way, does the same use. Compare a few times the love of a person to Hashem, like a love of a person to a woman. Because this is something actual that we can understand what it is. Even though many people in the world never felt love in their life, they got married without love. They didn't have the right teacher to teach them if to get married or not to get married. And the Shatran wanted to make his commission, so he pushed them into the relationship and messed up their life. There are millions, millions of women and men who live in relationship with no love. No love, no nothing. Just like two women who want their business together. Raising the children, sharing the money, sharing the house. That's it. But really, a part of the marriage is that a person, husband and wife, should have strong love and you know, attraction to each other. That's really the, the, the kosher way of it. We are not Christians who modify the Torah and messed it up. In the Torah, the first mitzvah is to get married and to love your wife and to have children with her. They went and destroyed this mitzvah and say, if you want to be righteous, you have to be single all your life. Can't get married. Now you see the re results of this nonsense. It's against Hashem. But I don't really understand those who wrote this, the, re the, the, the rules of Christianity. Where was the mind when they wrote it? Don't they read in the Torah that they admitted that it's the book of God, that Hashem is interested that men and women will get married and be together? Didn't they read in the Tanakh how many love stories and things like this? What got to their mind to change the truth of God to the opposite side, 180 degrees. It's hard to believe. What I'm, I'm more surprised of is how millions of people follow this nonsense. 
Where is their mind when they see it's the total opposite of the Torah? When Mashiach come will understand what got through their mind when they wrote it and when they follow it, only Hashem knows.